Welcome back to another Minnesota Chomp. I'm Patrick, and I just got back from the St. Paul Show. And when I say St. Paul Show, I'm talking about the St. Paul Ice Fishing Show, 27th Annual or something like that. I was down there promoting and helping customers uh, make decisions on 2B ice rods. Quite a few people have asked me um, how I go about or how do you put a reel on a straight cork handled rod or a rod that doesn't have a real seat or any rings or anything like that. Well, there's a couple ways you can go about doing it. You can use the castration bands, the rubber bands in the tool and slide them up over the end. You know, just kind of, you know, or you could tape it on. I prefer the tape method. For many, many years, I used electrician's tape, except for the last couple of years. I learned a little trick from some friends and uh, I'm going to show you those tricks today. It involves some 3M fiberglass strapping tape. It's a good old fashioned hockey tape. So let's get to start taping up this rod. This is the fast draw from 2B. Nice jumbo perch rod. I'm going to be putting a spinning reel on here. I don't use spinning reels often. But for perch walleye rod, I'm going to go ahead and throw a spinning reel on here. This is a Shimano Sahara 500. All right. I'm going to switch cameras. All right, so here we go. First layer of tape is going to be this uh, 3M fiberglass strapping tape. You can see it says uh, 3M. We'll get in there right there, right there. 3M. And this is available at any hardware store, farm supply store. Hell, you could probably find it at Walmart, too. I'm going to keep blabbing here until I find the end of it because I did not peel it back. So, there it is, right there. This is going to be the first layer. I'm just going to pull out a, I don't know, four or five inch, six inch piece here. Trim this off. That's all I'm going to need right here. Just this six inch piece. Okay. Now I'm going to take and cut off this other end that was kind of folded. My scissors aren't very sharp. There we go. Get rid of that. I'll give you the tour of the old table here in a second. Next, I'm going to take this piece of tape and if I believe so I'll tell you how big how wide this tape is it is around an inch and three eighths so what we're gonna do we're gonna split this baby right in half and all you gotta do with this stuff is just give it a little slice like so and then just gently pull and it'll come right apart take this piece. I'm just going to put it right here on that. Now I'm going to take my reel. I'm going to go ahead and put one on the back. Notice how I have one side longer than the other. There's a reason for that. And I'm going to do that on the other one, but it's going to be opposite. Like so. Just like that. Once this shorter than this, this one's shorter than this side. Next. I'm going to take my fast draw or any fishing rod and I'm going to lay this sucker down and I'm going to line it up kind of like so. Okay, now that I have it, I'm going to take a look at the side and see if that's where I want it on here for balance. Now, I'm going to take and I'm going to pull the short side up nice and nice and tight then I'm gonna take the long side pull over nice and tight I'm just gonna leave the rest of it kind of hanging out there same thing on the back I'm gonna short side long side nice and tight now cut it a little long and that's fine Take my scissors, cut that like so. Take this other one, this, 
Boom. First layer. Done. Okay? Now, what's cool about this, I'm moving, the, I, I can't move this. This fiberglass strapping tape does not move whatsoever. I mean, you can really, you can really wrench on it, but. So, there's the first layer. This first, this tape is important. This locks the reel down exactly where I want it, okay? Part two, hockey tape. It's got some cool blue stuff. Same thing, I'm gonna cut two strips or one long strip and we're gonna cut it in half. That's what we'll do. Like so. And then we're gonna take and cut this baby in half. Tape is cheap. There we go. Now, all this is going to do is protect that fiberglass strapping tape. I like the hockey tape because I like the, the cloth feel of it. I'm just going to put it right over top. I'm going to pull tight. Try not to get any wrinkles in it. And there's that. See, I got one more. One more and then I'm done. Boom, there it is. I'm done, I'm ready to rock. I'm ready to roll. She's set up, we are good to a fish there you have it simple as that that didn't take no time at all Woo! there you go like i said all done that literally took like a minute and a half two minutes but that is not going anywhere nice tight we're ready to rock like i said i hope this helps it's pretty easy to do and with these two rolls of tape, I mean, look how much tape's on there. I can tape up reels for years. I'll probably just, at the end of the season, when I got everything all taped up, just put it in a big Ziploc bag. Then it'll be there for forever. But, uh, yeah. I want to thank you guys all. I just broke the 300 mark. I can't believe it. Uh, it's... Just one of those milestones for myself. I know 300 in the world of YouTube isn't a whole lot, but it's a whole lot for me. And I have all the thanks in the world to give to you guys. Um, so keep watching. I'll keep making them. If you're new to this video and you like what you see, if you like me, just a little bit. Even if it's just a little bit. Right? Boink. Press that button. I'm not going to say it. I'm not going to tell you to smash it. I'm not going to tell you to pound it. Just do that. That'd be awesome. And, uh, yeah, so, cool. I'll see you out on the ice, I think. I hope. I don't know. It's starting to get cold here. Like, really cold. I think we had wind chill of minus 35 last night and this morning. But it is what it is. It's winter. It's almost Christmas time. I should stop talking now. I should put line on here. Better line. All right. Thank you, guys. Talk to you later.